Hello guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. It's good morning for me, so I got myself a cup of coffee. Either way, we're going to carry on with the last Khan's campaign and Kotian Khan. We completed the race in the banners and we're now carrying on with the battle at the Kalka River. Hope you're hyped. Let's go. The sky has turned dark with the smoke of burning tar. Through it, one can see the bodies of men and horses scattered on the battlefield. Despite our large numbers, our armies were swept away from this earth like dust on the field. The Mongols knew perfectly how to exploit our weaknesses and divide our forces. The booms of the charging Mongol horsemen sounded like thunder, and their arrows poured down on us like rain. Smoking projectiles fired by Mongol catapults caused confusion among our ranks and blocked our line of sight. We saw Rus princes charge into the smoke, never to be seen again. After nine long days, the combined Rus and Cuman armies were completely annihilated. Morale is at an all-time low for those who survived. We Cumans know that all hope is lost for our ancestral homeland. To escape certain death or slavery, we will retreat beyond the Dnieper River to rally and ride west. At least Khan Kotian survived the battle, which gives us a tiny bit of light in these dark times. His calm presence and confident voice can still give hope to the men. Don't forget that the Viper is here as well, Kotian Khan. You might not last that long. Right, so we had a rough defeat apparently. Lost a lot of men in the river. Or during our worst. So, see what we have in store for us right now. If the game ever loads. Alright. So, Coach and Khan must survive. Run from the Mongol horde. <laughs> run? I don't run. Well, I probably should. The Cumans are restricted to the castle age and a population of 150. Your people are in danger. You should find them as quickly as possible. You can try to fight you can try to fight the Mongols across the river, but after the recent defeat, you lack the man manpower or resources to defeat them. Focus instead on defeating the Tatars and ensuring the safety of your people. The Cumans can build battering rams in feudal age. It may be possible to crush the Tatars with an early rush before they can build up their strength. After suffering a defeat at the hands of the Mongols, Kojan Khan and some of his men are retreating west in an effort to save what remains of the Cuban tribes. The Rus principalities are located in the north. Their princes are either dead or fleeing north, so little help is to be expected from them. The Mongols have taken all of the land east of the Dnieper river and are preparing to cross it. Their leader, Subutai, has arrived as well and will oversee the Mongol advance. Expect him to unleash hordes of cavalry archers, Mangudai, light cavalry, and siege engines. The Tatars have managed to sneak across the river during the night and have made camp to the southwest. They plan to encircle the remaining human tribes and attack them from behind. Kotian must prevent this, or there will be no future for his people. The Tatars will train fearsome Keshiks, in addition to light uh, cavalry archers and steppe lancers. Step lancers are very fun to play with and very broken in my opinion right now but okay we'll carry on we have coach on here the defenders. The Mongols are hot on our tail. Oh. our people are leaving this god for such a night but perhaps you can find shelter with your people to the west um okay let's go ah this is exactly the same map sorry man yeah, this is exactly the same map as we played the previous one, where we ran around and visited everywhere. These are our homes. Our prince may have abandoned us, but we will never leave our homeland. All right. Good luck, Rus. I'm going to the Cuban tribes. My people are in danger. We're getting rushed by the Mongols. Quite intensely, may, may add. Kutya, please help us. We have managed to hold the major river crossing, but the Tatars have slipped across the river in the middle of the night and are now threatening to outflank our army. Alright. Um, Kiev was defeated. That was quick. Let's build town centers. I presume we want economy. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. 
Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. Mongols seems to be coming in everywhere. We have Cuban tribes there. I'm not sure if we. I'm supposed to run to... So, defeat the Tatars. That's my mission. Kuching Khan must survive, obviously. Um, let's go and find the Tatars then, shall we? While we build up some economy on the, in the backside. Oh yeah, I forgot Kotian was an archer. Let's get some upgrades for him. Um, yeah, so I guess we just build up economy for now. I'm not sure if they're like gonna continue the rush. Seems fairly peaceful here at the moment. I realized I have the grid mod and small trees on, guys. I, I do apologize for that. Normally I do remember to turn them off. Um, hopefully you guys will be fine for this one. I'll try to remember to turn it off for the future. But uh, there's obviously a chance that I forget it in the future as well. I do apologize though. So since we're Cumans, we can build two town centers in the few lakes as well. That's very neat. Um, yeah, so Tatars are down here. Um, we can build batting ramps in the feudal age. They did say that if we make a, an early push, there's a chance we can kill them. So let's look around, see what we can find. Have some Kowarcher, some Kipchak. Seven Kipchak, actually. Yeah, they have more than I anticipated. Um... Yeah, like we can kill them with an early rush. Yeah, right. Look at this. We don't have army for this. <sighs> can kill them with an early rush. This guy is drunk. And we can kill every unit from distance. Maybe learn them to our watchtower. Could work. I guess. Maybe lure them to our town center. Garrison in the town center. Did I lose? No, no, no. I'm just gonna quickly go and uh, turn off the mods. This is, I, I figured I'll just let him die so we can restart without the mods. So we get the full immersion. Um, that's totally it. All right. <clears throat> Let's run. Oops. What? Small trees are gone, but the grid mod is still there. But perhaps you can find shelter with your people to the west. Guess we have to live with the grid mod for now. Do apologize, boys. Sorry, boy. Are look at them running, cowards! Cowards! These are our homes. Our prince may have abandoned us, but we will never leave our homeland. Good, good call, Roots. Alright, we try again. So, Kotin, I'm not sure how... He has 250 HP and great armor. Yeah, I don't know how... I didn't really pay attention to why Cotton took that much damage. I guess he was just always the last person, so he always was the one who took the hit. Um, so that's my fault. I didn't pay attention in well enough attention to him. I'm used to here. I mean, he has 250 HP and good armor as well, so I didn't expect him to fall that fast. Bye, Kiev. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to go from a different angle. Last time he went from the lower side. This time we'll try to go from the top. See if we can micro some units there. I'm gonna send the hunting wolf. I'm not sure if he actually gets ag like takes aggro. We'll find out very soon. Oh yeah, he does. He does regenerate HP though. So we could use him as a 
cheeky soldier. Just gotta make sure Kochan survives. I hate the way they micro their units. It's so annoying to deal with. Okay, there is. Uh, I think we took most of their units there. So if I send a villager now, or two, I'd imagine we can build a siege workshop, and that we will be able to take them out. Because I don't. I think they might not have more army there. So that could be a good, a good way to go about these things. Get him! Okay, the Hunting Wolf isn't that impressive. I was imagining it would be stronger. Okay, it still does, does the job. Okay, so... Bloodlines, if you want. Did I not just send three sheep here? I guess they got taken by the enemy. Very... Dramatic music. This one sheep. Probably make like two or three rams and then assume that that's gonna be good. I'm gonna not gonna go further down because I don't wanna aggro more units from that side of the camp. Um, seems quite peaceful otherwise. The human tribes are holding. Yeah, I wonder as well if I run with army there. Do I get control over these units, or what? What? I'm getting towered! <laughs> but this town center was a mistake. Don't like that. Oh boy, incoming. They are in Imperial Age as well, that's the scary part here. Make one more ram just to be on the safe side. Three rams, then we go. Um, they have heavy coverages everywhere. Wait, sea challengers? I have a town center right next to this. This is not, uh, does not seem very good. Yeah. We're shooting our units. What? Go, go, go. Okay, they're actually really pushing through now. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I'm gonna go steal the gold from the Rus, because that seems safer than taking gold anywhere else at this point. Okay, let's go for the castle. There's no units here, so this should be... this should work. I don't think we need more rams. I don't feel good about this area. It's only... Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully our... Okay, I can guys in the tower to help, to be fair. Could have done that. You can take this with the two rams, right? Yeah, should be good. Um, yeah, they are definitely pushing through there. Pushing here as well. And they're going everywhere! E oh god, what is this? What is this? Who invited you guys? No one invited you to the party. Go away. Okay, I don't have... It. What's this about, like... So we are leaving this place. My cavalry are coming for Hello. you, Kotian. You better hide like the little mouse that you are. How about showing us the way in the gap as well, instead of just... <laughs> what is this? What am I supposed to do here? So I don't have enough to take out the Tatars. 
I'm still in Feudal Age. I don't have economy to go to Castle Age. They're pushing through everywhere. Uh, my Cuman tribe allies has ran. Like a bunch of cows they are. Not really sure what to do right now. Not sure if that was clever either. Kotyun shall survive this time. Oh, Slav ally, thank you. At least the Rus are still alive. Going strong. We take out this army though, maybe we can uh, actually snowball this into taking out everything they have. Like, uh, maybe we can actually defeat the Tatars like this. Oh, the hunting, wo hunting dog is actually hunting wolf. It's actually proven to be very useful right now. Oh, don't die, don't die. Woo! Would have died the next shot. Okay, I'm... I don't have enough units. I need to get up to the next stage. Why am I doing towers? Is there stone here? I would like to drop a castle and... Do uh, more Kipchaks. That is the plan. Uh, don't like. Why do they have so much units? And I have nothing. I can't garrison Cochin Khan anywhere either. That does not give me a lot of comfort. I tell you that much. It's only you left, Cochin. Oh, I still have my wolf. What? <laughs> Bringing some visitors, my Slav allies. Got some friends coming. Is there anywhere I can garrison with this dude? I don't see it. That's bad news. <laughs> Uh, okay, I can escape on the other side of the gate at least. That's good. The tower is gone. -er. My, <laughs> my slab allies with their men at arms and spearmen. So cute. I'm even thinking about maybe just towering up now, even, because... What else can we do? Human tribes defeated. Great stuff. Another ally down. I mean, we survived again, I guess. The market. I'm thinking about towering up, honestly, but... Okay, if they give us time now, we should be alright ish. Give us time to recover. The Mongols at least aren't pushing through like all the way to us. Just as I say that, I see a Mongol army uh, coming from the left and the right and everywhere. No! What is this? I need to get up to the next stage. Jinx that one, didn't we? Are they coming to me? Are you kidding me? How exactly am I expected to hold this? I guess I could stonewall. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> of course I can, Cubans. <laughs> Stonewalls. <laughs> am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I have one military. I have one military. <laughs> guess I can run and uh, live next to my allies up there that will be my go-to plan right now <laughs> no <laughs> what is this mission 
Why is this so hard? Flee, flee for your lives. Yo, my Slav allies, I have a gift for you. This is my castle town center. It looks like it might go down um, before I actually get to go up. That's great news. Okay, I actually won't go down. Can I like escape with villagers? That would be good. We're in it for a long run. At least that's confirmed. We survive. Okay, we're in the castle age. Which means I'm going to build a castle there. To provide for my allies. I'm just that type of guy. Not leaving my allies to burn. We got this, boys. I just need a lot of Kipchak and then we're fine. I wonder if I'm supposed to run to all those other tribes as well and get control over these areas. If we fail this one, I might try that again. Um, when I say if we fail, I mean when we fail. I think that might make sense. Oops. Um... Should find them as quickly as I mean we found them. I'm not sure if I can actually get control over these areas as well. I will send Kot on there next try if we fail. If we fail. Now I will have some glorious Kipchak, so can't complain. I don't have town centers anymore. So begins the great reboom of Kotian Khan. I actually left my town center alive for some reason. Don't know why. But I'll take it. Never mind. Okay, I do have Bob Canero at least now, so. There's that. They are still castle units by the look of it. They don't have Elite Mangadai, they don't have Bracer. So, um, we'll see. It did tell us to run when the Mongol army came in, so maybe I did the right thing. We still just want to defeat the Tatars, that's our main mission here. Perp, oh god. I'm going back. I would love to get enough food to do husbandry, to give our cavalry that even extra boost to speed. I'm actually housed. What kind of advanced weapons are we talking about here? Trebuchet, siege Anger, siege ram. Either way, it doesn't sound good. Man, I do have 43 villagers. It's actually quite a decent number of villagers. But I don't have them well distributed, I think. I need to take gold fast until before my ally takes it. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay then. Are they coming across the river? They're coming across the river. They are coming across the river. Um, let's go, my Slav allies. We can do this. I believe in you. You believe in me. We all believe in each other.
The Rams. They're good against Rams. Looking good, boys. We're totally holding. <laughs> Every time I get my hopes up. Every time I get my hopes up. There he goes. A beautiful castle. If this is gonna be like a non stopping stream, then we will definitely lose. That's what it looks like. No, Kotan, Kotan. Gotta be careful here. Can't let Kotan go down. They have bomber cannons. That must be the advanced weapon. Okay, I feel like this is not gonna be possible anymore. So how the hell do we do this thing? They're coming in non-stop. Okay, let's do, let's do a restart here. I'm gonna go all the way back because in the old days Restarting like that tended to break the campaign, make it easier. So, okay, that's difficult. That's difficult. How to do this? Hmm. All right, we'll see. We have another go. Ah, coffee cold. One of the defenders. The Mongols are hot on our tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. See ya. Other people are leaving this god for a second. Yata, yata. Perhaps you can find shelter with your people to the west. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So I'm planning to build economy behind behind blue space right away. That's my current plan, uh, and probably try to go to Castlech instead of. Doing all these upgrades. Our may have us, I'm also gonna run by every human tribe to see if we can uh, get control of those. So, all right, this is this is a tough one for sure. Do one to you there? Okay, I want to see if I get those units. If I get those units, then we can probably um, then we can probably um, English words insert here. Bye, Kiev. If we get these units, we can probably rush and take out Tatars fast without trying to hold the sides. So that's what we're gonna have to find out now. Will you guys come to me? 
Or are you just staying teal? Alright, seems like there's no interest in joining my side. There's a shaman here. I will talk to him. He doesn't want to say anything, not very talkative. I'm just gonna run by every tribe now to see. I will not make the siege to try and push Tethers early. That we don't have enough men for that. Let's go to the castle age. Yeah, we're not getting control of that. One second, guys. I know this is bad, but just quickly. All right. I'll drop by down here as well to see if we get control of that. Uh, probably we're not going to do that. So we're on our own. We are on our own. Yep, there's no interest in, in me there. Let's get that stone then. Prepare for a castle drop. Maybe I castle drop forward towards Tatars. Like this will be my safe economy, and then I'll try to push on the bottom side. It seems to be like... Um, I mean, we have to take out the Tatars, right? That's Mongols, I don't want to mess with that. So I'll... Make sure my folk... Is he attacking me? Of course he is. That's our, our approach. I think if I get enough Kipchaks... If I just build Kipchaks in Castle Age... I might be able to, to get enough... Um, to take out the Tatars. I mean, our mission here is to defeat the Tatars. That's what's on the cards here. I might need more food eco though. Maybe I'm trying too hard to get all the resources now. Why is there a villager there? Don't steal our sheep! Actually, very useful food. Yeah, I would like to make a market. Yeah, I'm investing every resource I have right now into economy just to have a quick little bit of a mini boom. And then after that, we will uh, focus on. I'll probably make up to like 30, 40 villagers, hopefully. And then I will try to. Switch into... Uh, thanks for scouting for me, bud. Focusing on military and just to take out the Tatars. That seems, again, to be the main thing here, obviously. So if we can successfully do that, that would be great. So it's been a bug. It says 161, right? I do have 161 gold, but it never works unless you have one more. Now it will work. Yeah, it's always weird. Don't know why that is. But yeah, we'll carry on. Um, Mongols, okay, now they're coming. I'm hoping I can get enough stone to get a castle up in a de decent area fast enough. I know my dudes will run, so we are on a little bit of a timer here still. Oh, guess the party has started. That's fine, it's just a few units. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, aren't we? Right? Come on. Maybe I need to speed up my stone income here. Looks so far so good. He said as he is about to die. Why am I so inaccurate on this dude? My are coming for you, you better hide like the little mouse that you are. 
I heard you. First time. Okay. I think this is a good balance right now between economy and stone. I think we should have a castle in time before they push fast enough. Like before they come hard in on our... Uh, Our uh, important areas. This guy is chopping mining stone from the town center's ground. Mining gold, rather. Correction. Uh, um, so I'll probably try to get like 10 more bills out, then we'll get a castle up, and then we focus on military. Seems stable so far. Maybe we switch a bit more of a gold focus there now. Leave our buildings there to get bias time, rather. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe get a monastery, a monk out as well. To try and... Uh... Are you guys gonna run soon or what? Okay, 31 bills. A castle on... Maybe a more forward. Start doing some upgrades now. In before Koten dies. Castle on this hill will be sweet. That's what we will go for. Yeah, th this area is buying time for us. So, again, our focus is here. Oh god. Hope they don't focus on our villagers. Okay, now they're coming kind of to our base. I don't like that at all. Don't like that one bit. But if we can get this castle up, I can probably use these units to defend. As long as they don't come in there anymore. Uh, don't want them to fight from the hill because they're tatters, they get bonus. Fighting from the hill. Oh, oh no, Katjan, Katjan, don't you dare die. Okay, now they're coming in our economy. I uh, don't like that. Give us your extra resources. Give me your extra resources. My ally is useless. We have to weather the storm here. Start losing Kipchak. I will also. I'll also have to get. Uh, rams. Has the Mongols started moving in yet? They're still fighting against the Cuban tribes. Cuban tribes have not give, surrendered yet. Okay, now there's only skirms left. You can deal with that. 36. I'm just gonna stop making villages, honestly. Let's uh, focus on up upgrades now. Okay, let's go. I wanted to get ballistics, but I guess I can't really justify affording that. All right, safe for now, safe for now. Let's do ballistics first. Actually, let's get the siege workshop first, and then we'll do ballistics. It's definitely feeling like we're in a better spot than last time, not, not that it says much. But uh, it's something. 
I really hope they will go up to blue first before coming down here. Else that can still get quite problematic. this progress this little bit now we just need to make sure the mongols ignore us and everything is looking fine you guys can waste time on castle that's all right i can live with that good stuff let's garrison start getting some rams out all right, all right. We just gotta focus on the Tatars. Ignore the Mongols. Ignore the Mongols. It's all about the Tatars. So far, so good. I think. Already send the ram out. One thing missing for our Kipchak would be thumb ring. Might save for that now. I still don't know exactly if I think we're doing fine. I mean, I don't know how the Mongols are gonna play out now. The Cuban tribes didn't retreat for some reason. I really hope I, the campaign isn't glitched. That would be terrible. That sucked. That was a waste of a ram. Like, I'm wondering why the... Why I haven't gotten that... Like, that the uh, human tribes have uh, like escaped yet. They found a hole in their stuff, right? I don't know what this is about. So... That does worry me that if we complete this now, that we... The campaign wasn't actually working. Really hope that's not the case. I still, I mean, I have to take out this, the castle there. Wouldn't surprise me if they have something further down there as well. So we still have to uh, move fast. Make some step lances as well. Ridiculous unit, step lancer. This was not part of the plan. Yeah, I think the castle placement there is a good one, for sure. Okay, uh, they just were defeated. Oh. Still wondering what what is what's has, what's has happened there, why they didn't escape like they did in the previous one. The right wheel just carry on. No, not really anything else we can do. I think we'll be good there now, so let's start focusing down. As the Mongols are coming in. What's here? It's like something is protected there, but I don't really see what. actually quite focused right now. Uh, the Mongols are moving in. Don't know how much more time we have here. Actually like trying to micro really well and not really lose units. Okay, this castle is down. Progress. 
Yeah, don't think there's more there, so... Keep making ramps. Okay, they're in my eco now. But this is now our key economy. Either way. Mm, why do they still have so many units? Stop having units! Yeah, I don't have wood income anymore because this is gonna be a referino. So we gotta rely on this now. Let's go, boys. This is the only town center left. Then we might have a good shot here. If once I take this out, the Tatlers are defeated. I don't think that's the case. But if that's the case, then that would be great. Come, 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 come. You guys take gold there. Uh, it's nice that he tries to help this spearman. He's actually gonna kill a carry archer. Not bad! This spearman is a legend, man. He's going ham. Okay, uh, incoming. I gotta keep my eyes on Kotian Khan. You're not allowed to die, dude. Gonna need houses. So I presume they have a base at the bottom as well, because they're not showing any signs of being defeated yet. And they still have. Mongols are helping them now. That's bad news. What? Okay, I'm, I'm feeling bad about this. Oh god, that's bad. Maybe a Feudal Age push is the way to go? I don't really know anymore. Oh, pretends. Oh god. Like what? Okay, I need to clear the bottom part. Well, shit. Oh god. How are we supposed to do this? I'm escaping. I have fast air running cavalry. I will escape. Try to, anyway. Okay, uh, change of plans. Uh, uh, avoid all the units at any cost. Figure out where the tatters are and destroy them. Can we escape with these rams? Oh, boy, boy, boy. So I'm planning to run down now. <laughs> They're still on my tail. I have four villages there. If I could sneak a few villagers to the bottom and do like a castle in this area, somewhere that's potentially safe. Yeah, then that would be nice. I'm not sure if we'll be able to defeat the Tatters with my single hero ram. We'll try though. Also, don't, not sure how I would, how to get those villagers to an area where we can actually. Oh god. All right, that's that's looking bad. What is this? Okay, my next thought is that might maybe we have to just wall, wall, wall. No, we can't stone wall, but could palisade wall and try to be cheesy like that. Wait, the Mongols retreated. So this is sister last base. I'm just scouting now to figure out where their bases, where, like what we actually need to take out to defeat them. Oh god, they're not a castle there. 
Feed the Tatars so your people can flee to the south. Cumans are restricted to 150 population. Your people are in danger. You should find them as quickly as possible. May be possible to crush the Tatars with an early rush before they can build their strength. It has to be a super early rush though. Um Okay, not a restart. We try again. What's my next approach? Uh, super early rush is my current thought. We try that. We'll, we'll trust the uh, instructions. If this doesn't work, I'll probably end the video uh, on a loss and have a, a new attempt at a later point because the video is stretching a little bit long. I was not counting on it taking this long. So here we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our people are leaving the Scott for second night, but perhaps you can find shelter with your people to the west. So, yeah, my current plan is to just rush to try and rush the Tatars really fast. Don't have high hopes for that, but um, worth a shot, worth a shot. Our, homes. our prince may have abandoned us. But we will never leave our homeland. By the way, if we end up failing and this video is uploaded as a loss, I do not want people in chat telling me how they want it or how they did it, because I would like to figure that out myself. We could do one town center though and try to make some economy. Skip economy for now. Try this fast rush thing that they talk about. Bye bye, Kiev. It's nice knowing you as usual. I don't. <laughs> I don't have high hopes for this working. But they did say that they're building up their strength, which makes me think that if we can actually take out their production buildings, etc. fast, then maybe we can... Um, why am I making scout carry? That's stupid. Then maybe we can actually uh, do something here. But if we're actually able to take them out really fast. But yeah, my recollection from before was that they have enough armor to defend an early rush, but... Mm. Seems to be the same story. Well, one tower down. We actually have villagers here, so there's economy there. You're in feudal age. Maybe this is the way to go after all. I'm gonna mix in some scouts. I'm just going all in for this. This is an all in push now. All out, baby. Let's go. Still don't think it's gonna work. But uh, worth a shot, worth a shot. Okay, carry on. Fast and efficient. Leave no survivors. Let's send in our full HP ram first and try to repair the other one. Um, so the hope now is that they don't actually have economy or military to defend. We'll see if that's going to be the case or not. I know, dude. There's a castle there. 
That castle has a lot of flags, which makes me think this might be their main home or main base to kill. If we can take that castle out, maybe they actually resign even. So far we've done a lot of work at least. Now I need to transition to economy because I don't have don't have any more resources. <laughs> at least we can repair the ramps a little bit still. So this that's something. I don't see much military for them. I'm starting to get up my hopes. I'm sure it will be all for nothing in the end. Repair it. Don't see any military from them still. That is promising indeed. Okay, we're out of gold. We can't repair anymore. It's a town center there as well. I guess that will be our next target. I think I like the way this is going though. Currently. Castle should go down. Oh god, here they come. Okay, they are leaving. See ya. Alright, I mean, we're taking out so many villages from them. I'm, I'm hoping they don't have economy to produce units with this. Obviously, there's a chance that's not the case. Farms. I'm well aware. Like, they don't have... They should not have much left. We've taken out pretty much our whole economy, I hope. And... We don't have town centers anymore. They should not have. So is there a town center to the bottom? Let's check. But we are taking out all their villagers. So I'm starting to get my hopes up. I don't like that. Because I feel like my hopes are going to get crushed. They're just eating our sheep. I know there's one more castle up to the top. Uh, it looks to me like there might be a town center to the left there as well. There's no town center here. Okay, more villagers there. So I guess our next target is gonna be the castle on the top. I really hope... I don't know if we have enough though. I'm gonna need gold for that. I would love to repair this a little bit. Low HP RAM. We can repair that a little bit, then... Okay. Alright, we'll carry on, I guess. Don't see any reason to stop now. We are super committed to this all-in, though. Uh, I presume if we take out the Tatars, that might be the victory for this campaign. So, this commitment might pay off. They should not have any economy buildings or anything important down there, so... My theory is still that if we just continue onwards up here now... I'm just taking out these towers quickly. If we can take the castle there... I have a feeling that might be everything we need. So, we'll try for that. I don't have much military left though. So there's that as well. Oh, I really hope this works. Should just be one more castle. We can do it, boys. Two towers and one castle up there, right? I believe, I believe, I believe. Why would I ever question the... the suggestions from the campaigns? 
Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. We can do it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't see any military from them, so I presume they are relying on their own economy to produce units. And I don't see more units being produced from them right now. I'm starting to believe, boys. That's the worst part. That is the worst part. I don't see military from them still. I mean, we do have the backup case here. We have a little bit of economy, so we could... If the Tatars give us resources and things like that... Then we might be able to, like, uh, recover and hold a little bit. But this should be it. This should be it. If we take this castle, they should be defeated. Actually, I'm starting to think that I should probably run down now. Because there's a chance I have to take out these towers, etc. as well. So, I gotta get ready for that. Just in case that's the case. Just in case that's the case. I know there are some units down there. But I'm starting to feel good about this, guys. The castle is going down. Okay, there's a siege workshop down there. Let's see, let's see. The castle is going down. Victory, victory, victory. Victory. Damn it. Okay, what else do we need to take out, Mr. Tatars, boys? Need more siege rams. I guess we're going for all their production buildings then. Wait, the archery range is gone. Are they deleting? Oh, they're deleting their buildings. So, you have decided to run again, little mouse. You can run, but there is no place where you will be safe hey, from the mighty horde. Yes! Ah, <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it, boys! Damn, okay. So I guess that's the probably the only way to do this, actually. I mean, another way would be to wall off and play super like clever. Just place things really to buy time. Probably build up economy in different spaces that they cannot reach you and then... You just would have to place a lot of stuff to buy time and then build up a super fortification at some point. Maybe like getting up three castles in some area to hold it and like pretty much build up to 150 population even as well. But I'm not sure how the Mongols play out, say if this game passes an hour. I'm not sure how the Mongols exactly would react to that and like would they keep spamming units and... They definitely seem like they have more population cap than 200 so... I'm not sure if it actually is possible to win them in like a physical straight up battle. I think taking out the Tatars like this is the way to go. Uh, yeah. Guys, the hints here, they are actually hints. That's a good thing, isn't it? So taking out the, the Tatars really early, idling their economy really helps. They didn't rely, they did rely on their own economy to actually produce units. So that is also cool that that's the fact here. Uh, that's awesome. Map, map is huge though, but I don't think there's much to see except the Mongol Mongols uh, on the eastern areas here. Uh, is Subotai here, I wonder? I'm gonna have a quick look to see if I can find Subotai. Not sure where exactly he would be in that case. He should look similar to an, uh, a carry archer. But yeah, my guess is that he's actually not here. Don't see any units with a glow or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that Subuta isn't there. If he is here, I'm sure you guys will let me know. Um, either way, let's uh, jump back and see what what's up now. When looking into the empty eyes of the men sitting in front of the yurts, it is hard to imagine that these men were once fierce step horsemen. Warriors who were feared by European kings and Byzantine emperors alike. Our Khan is devastated by the recent events as well, and has not eaten since the battle. Each time Kotian emerges from his tent, 
His face appears older and more gaunt. Pressured by the Mongol horde, we have no other choice than to keep moving south. At night, Tatar and Mongol raiding parties ambush human guards who wander too far away from the camp. It will be yet another sleepless night for the men. Alright. Sounds like we are in a difficult position here with our human humans. Yeah, they have so much population. Mongols, Subutai, and Mongols. That's nice. Alright, we actually won in Feudal Age. That's cool as well. Showcasing that the fact that the Feudal Age RAM is uh, can actually be useful. I'm not sure about the balance in, in terms of multiplayer for the feudal for the two TCs in feudal age and the RAM and everything, but uh, yeah. Also, I'm not sure how they can balance that without affecting the campaigns as well. So we'll see how the future plays out. Either way, I'm happy we made it. The battle at the Kalka River. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And coming up will be saving the huts. I will see you all. Then.